In this video, we're going to take a look at standard 611a, which says graph points in all four quadrants using ordered pairs of rational numbers. I like to review um, some important terminology related with the standard. Um, first, let's look at the definition for a rational number. Um, rational numbers are the set of numbers that can be expressed as a fraction, a over b, where a and b are integers and b does not equal zero. Um, if we look at this graphic here, we can see that rational numbers includes integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers. So all of these sets of numbers fall within rational numbers. Some examples, um, of course, we can use decimals that are less than or greater than one, fractions that are both proper, improper, and mixed, um, and then, of course, we can use negative numbers, whole numbers, repeating decimals. All of those count as rational numbers. Let's think about the definition of a coordinate plane. So the coordinate plane is a plane determined by a horizontal number line called the x-axis and a vertical number line called the y-axis, which intersect at a point called the origin. Quadrants of the coordinate plane, there are four areas that are formed by the intersection of the x and the y-axis. The quadrants are labeled with Roman numerals. Quadrant one is located in the top right-hand corner, and then they continue numbering in a counterclockwise direction. So here's a picture of a coordinate plane. We have your x-axis, y-axis, the center is the origin, and we have all four quadrants labeled. An ordered pair is a pair of numbers that names the location of a point on the coordinate plane. It is written inside parentheses and separated by a comma. The first number represents move, movement along the x-axis, which is in the left or right direction. And the second number represents movement along the y-axis, which is up or down. And when you are plotting a coordinate pair, you always start at the origin. Let's look at an example. This example is from the STAR test. It's a released item from the 2016 STAR test for grade six. The problem says four points are graphed on the coordinate grid. Which ordered pair does not appear to be represented by one of these points? So let's remember that in a coordinate pair, the x coordinate is graphed first, and then the y coordinate. We have four different answer choices here. Some answer choices are given as mixed numbers, improper fractions. So I think in this case, a good strategy is to convert improper fractions to a mixed number or a decimal. So let's look here. Five halves, for our first answer choice, we have the coordinate five halves, negative three. So we can change that to two and one half and negative three, or 2.5 and negative three. Answer choice B, again, has a, a mixed number, and we can leave that, but if we want, we can also go ahead and convert it to the decimal, which negative one and a half, the decimal equivalent is negative one and five tenths. Again, in C, we have an improper fraction, so we can convert that to a mixed number. Three halves would convert to one and one half. We can also convert that to a decimal, which would be one and five tenths. And then our last one is already written with a fraction of one half. We could convert that to a decimal, which would be 0 0.5 or 5 tenths. So let's go ahead and graph these points. So 5 halves negative 3 or 2.5 and negative 3 means we would move 2 and a half units in the positive x direction, then 3 down in the y direction. And when we do that, we see that we land right on this point here. And we're looking for the point that's not represented by these answer choices. Okay, answer choice B is negative one and negative one and a half, or negative 1.5. So we're gonna move one direction left from the origin, and then one and a half units down. That would put us right about here. Well, I don't see a point there. I just added a point, but the point was originally graphed there. So right now, 
This one does not appear on the graph. Answer choice A did. I don't see answer choice B. Let's continue checking the rest of the answer choices. We have positive one and a half and two. So we move from the origin one and a half units to the right on the x-axis and then two units up and we will see that there is a coordinate point plotted there. The last answer choice is negative four and a half it means we're going to move negative four or four units to the left on the x-axis and then half a unit up on the y-axis and we do see a coordinate point plotted there. So which answer choice does not appear? That is answer choice B.